Do you, uh, do you do a lot of work in the office? Well, quite a lot, you know, in between gigs. It's quite a nice place to spend the day, actually. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the rest of the time it's a bit boring. <laughs> yes, I beg your pardon. <laughs> uh, there's, there's some other things that... I'm not farting in my... Obviously, people, people would like to... To not... To, <laughs> I can't have an echo in on <laughs> so obviously uh, a number of things that people would, would, would like very much to know about. Um, do you find yourself torn between the music business and the stage? I get. A, I must admit that I do miss the guys in the Who a lot, and I get very lonely on on the road. So and I. So there's that to contend with, and, it, and there's not really anything that I haven't done in the music industry that I set out that I wanted to do. So, uh, I must say, acting, if I had the choice to make between the two of them, would be the one I'd choose. Mm. Because uh, there's more work for old actors, old chap, <laughs> than old rock and roll singers. <laughs> I, I just wonder, with, with um, sorry, did I keep the kick? No, you kicked me in the <laughs> <laughs> With Live Aid, uh, Queen reformed and found a completely new direction. Did the Who ever think of doing that? Well, not really. Um, we didn't want to reform, reform for Live Aid, and, and uh, it was only that Bob Geldof is very persuasive that we did. Um, in saying that, I really enjoyed doing the show, but I, unless there's a, a specific thing that it would be worth reforming a band for, a specific project, I, mean, I think we, we set it up and did enough. Are you but, you know, I never say never. It might happen. You never but, but are you happy on stage without them? I mean, do you find? When I'm doing it, I miss Pete a lot. I miss, I miss Pete terribly on stage because I used to. Be there. Although people used to describe it as open warfare, it never was. We used to work very much as a team, and I was always very aware of what he was doing. And when he'd go up to do bits that would be centre of attention, I used to step back. And he used to, we used to work very much as a team. And, uh, do you I feel lonely? Say, I mean, do you now feel lonely with that? Very, very much so. Uh, it's, it, it, it's a strange feeling. It's, I mean, the boys in my band are great and we have really good times, but it's not the same and I'm not so sure whether I like it. Yeah. <laughs> is there a dream in terms of getting away from the world of pop, the world of rock? I mean, is there a role that you've always wanted to play? I'd love to have a really big hit record before I stop. That's, that's always been my dream, is to have a really big, successful record and album, and then stop. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, makes a lot of sense. Excuse me. What I wanted to do this. <laughs> what, um, what would that be? Something maybe from, maybe Singing in the Rain? You'd be good at it. <laughs> Roger, I'd, I'd like to thank you very much indeed for inviting me into your office. I'd like to thank you very much indeed for...